found a pair of activists working to bring the benefits of the country life to one of the biggest cities in the world. Michael Pollan put forth a claim that growing at least some of your own food is one of the best things that you can do for the environment. There were so many comments about how, well, great, that's fine for other people, but I live in New York City and I live in a New York City apartment. There's no way I'm going to end up growing any of my own food. And so, of course, that was kind of a little bit of a challenge. Well, hydroponics, you can do things so that you're growing a lot more nutrients in a much smaller amount of space. We've got about 14 people who have seen kind of pictures and diagrams, and a few of them have actually seen our own prototype window farm. What we realized is that people didn't just want to like take what we had come up with and you know take it home and do it themselves they also were really attracted to being part of that innovation process there's so much that we want to do on this project there's there's both building more iterations of the prototype but also passing on what we've learned to other people the new group of people will be able to upload their own instructions or their own inventions or um, comment on previous versions even if they're not building their own um, so it really opens up that innovation process to mm -hmm. everyone. We're starting to think about this in the, this context of research and develop it yourself. Like research and development process, but then DIY. And so having a bunch of people who are not necessarily scientists or institutions, but are really concerned about environmental problems, they're not going to be able to solve something just themselves, but as a um, collaborative, it could really happen. We're trying to open it up to people so that everyone feels like they have ownership and can participate in this process. The existence of the internet has allowed us to communicate in totally different ways and led us to organize ourselves in different ways. And I think that up until the, the creation and proliferation, really, of the internet, um, we had to rely on large organizations um, with a hierarchical structure for the most part to get things accomplished as a society. The big science organizations who are all kind of relying on to solve these problems always have to go, go into these problems looking at it like they've got to come up with a solution that fits everyone. This aspect of people taking matters into their own hands and not depending on outside forces to solve the environmental problem. People feeling like they can actually make differences in their own community because I think that that's what will really change things.